Attorneys for several Mount Carmel patients are raising new concerns tonight about the alleged act actions of Dr. William Husel. They're questioning whether he improperly deemed a handful of patients brain dead before ordering potentially fatal doses of painkillers. Now, wrongful death lawsuits have already been filed on behalf of those families, but these new revelations draw into question an important hospital protocol. NBC4's Dan Perlman is following these late developments, and he joins us now here in the studio. Well, one question in a number of these cases centers around whether the patients involved were brain dead, and it appears there are a number of guidelines typically followed before such a determination is made. The number of wrongful death lawsuits facing Mount Carmel and Dr. William Husel remains at 19. Today, it was Leesburg and Valentine, a law firm representing the families of more than a dozen patients, that sent us two articles regarding the protocols for declaring brain death. One from the American Academy of Neurology states, for example, a recommendation is that the brain death examiner be someone other than the treating physician. Attorneys say Husel, the treating physician, made that determination himself in a number of cases. Oh, wow. A statement from Leesburg and Valentine reads, of the protocols, virtually none of which were complied with, completed, and or documented by Dr. Husel before advising family members that their loved ones were brain dead. A spokeswoman for the health system told me tonight Mount Carmel has a brain death policy that includes a number of steps. She wrote in part, there are serial examinations, EEGs, cerebral flow studies, which includes an MRI, CAT scan, angiography, Etc. The determination of brain death is to be made only by a physician who is a neurologist, neurosurgeon, critical care intensivist, or a trauma surgeon. Husel is a critical care doctor. And I did reach out to two of Husel's attorneys tonight for comment on these latest allegations. So far, I have not heard back. Local for you, Dan Perlman, NBC4. All right, Dan, thank you.